Atoms. They make up everything. This is an atom. His name is helium. The center area of him is called the nucleus. Located here are two particles, neutrons, which are neutral, and protons, which are positive. The area surrounding him is called the electron cloud. Here you find electrons. They are negatively charged. This is a periodic table. If we get closer, you'll see that every atom is organized in these neat little boxes. The atomic number is usually on top, and it'll tell you the number of protons and electrons. They're the same because they need to be in order for the atom to be stable. The atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons. You can think of it as its weight, you know? Uh, fatty! Electrons can be organized in rings. The electrons on the outermost ring are called valence electrons. The first ring can fit two, the second can fit eight, and the third one can fit 18. The octet rule states that all rings must be filled with at least eight to be stable. My, my, you are very demanding to be stable, aren't you? You remind me of somebody. Anyways, in order to fill up their rings, atoms will seek other atoms to either share or transfer electrons. These are like human relationships. They're called bonds. Let's start with transferring electrons. When atoms do this, it's called an ionic bond. These only occur with a nonmetal and a metal. Let's look at sodium and chlorine. Sodium only has one valence electron, while chlorine has seven. Since it's easier to give up one electron than seven, sodium decides to be a friend and give up his electron. Let's look at another example. We can use this chart to help us bond atoms together. Calcium has two, while oxygen needs two. So as we saw before, calcium gives up two to oxygen. The next type of bond is covalence. This is the sharing of electrons, because, you know, sharing is caring. These only occur with nonmetals. Let's take two oxygen atoms. Since they both need to, they can both share their electrons. Boom. Sharing is caring. And that concludes my podcast. Well, it's not really a podcast because it has audio and video. Well, it's not really videos. It's more like drawings. Subscribe.